everybody. My name is Sherry. Welcome to my stamp studio. This is just going to be a real quick video um, for those of you that are doing either version of my upcoming try class. It will be in the mail Tuesday or Wednesday. So it kind of depends on how our Tuesday goes. We're going to generate the labels. They are all packed up and they are all in here. Last night we spent some time, well we, I had five helpers yesterday and if I had not had the five people, they would not even be close to being all packed up. But um, last night we got almost done with those of you that have both club and try it or those of you that have loyalty gifts, those of you that have stamp sets, the add-ons and all those things, getting the special packages together. And then um, tomorrow my daughter's going to come over and we are going to um, weigh the, all, all the different versions and get the labels generated. So depending on how long that takes, they may be in the mail tomorrow. I also have to finish filming eight of the projects. Um, four of them are done. <laughs> but I wanted to send this to you to let you know to watch for your tracking and to kind of give you a sneak peek. If you've not done the class before, those of you who have done it will laugh because I'm going to tell you what the most important thing about this class. Well, one is to have fun and to enjoy it, but two is when you get your um, packet of materials, not to open it. And if you do open it, then the next time you do it, you won't open it again. <laughs> because if you take it apart and move all the pieces, then putting it back together will take longer than actually doing the cards because it's stacked in the order that you need it. So I'm going to take mine apart and show you what's in it. That way I'll satisfy your curiosity and you won't have to do it to yours. Um, and if you're doing the video only portion, um, which a lot of you are, and I am still taking registrations for the video only portion through Wednesday, and then I may open it back up again at the end of the month, um, but I am going to turn it off while we're gone. That way nobody will be frustrated that they pay and don't get the videos right away. And I may have um, three or four extras of the packets. There's always some billing issues. There's always some um, people who registered and the payments didn't go through. So I have contacted those people to see if they want the, the packet or not. And if they don't, then I'll have three or four maybe extra packets and I'll take payment through those on Wednesday. And again, turn that off until we're home. So let's, let's look at what you need to pull out for your class. And then I will show you what's inside your packet. Um, so you'll need your catalog. We will start at the front of the catalog. Chris is working on the PDF now. You will start with the very first thing of a paper and I do it toward, uh, um, geared around the paper. So as we um, go through, I think the first one is the birthday paper. So we'll just walk right through it. And that way you can take notes on sticky things. You can take notes in your catalog as you go. Things that you might not have noticed. Where's the birthday paper? I haven't not had enough time to even, well, this is the second project. So we've already missed the birthday paper. But we'll just walk through it. Um, when we have the celebration catalog, we always start with the celebration and do the uh, the mini. But this time, just we'll start right here. So we'll have a look at the paper. I'll show you both the papers. I will show you um, the stamp sets, anything that I have had time. This time, I haven't had as much time to play with this stuff beforehand. But anything that I have picked up in the short amount of time, in the um, five days that I have had the product before I made them. Um, but I have seen some stuff. I've um, seen other demonstrators with it. So you'll want to have that handy. You can also print out your PDF if you choose to. You can also take an annotated notes in your PDF because it is in a book form and it has all the clickable links. Then you'll want to have, it's uh, the other thing I love about this class, you hardly need anything. So you'll need your adhesive and so far I have used um, seal, um, and I think this is all that I use, steel dimensionals and some fine tip glue. I didn't actually use the fine tip glue in anything that I have filmed so far because I've been in a hurry, but you'll want to because there's some fine little dyes in there. Then you're gonna need your um, paper trimmer. You'll need a paper trimmer for sure. Um, preferably one that has a scoring blade and you can get by just using the ruler on here. I like to have another ruler because I like to kind of sometimes take my pencil. You will need a pencil. I don't even know where mine went. It's under here. I like to use the ruler and mark mine. Just, you know, math makes it easier and older eyes. You can kind of see it and mark it before you put it in here. You can use the ruler on here and some, I do it both ways, but especially when I'm filming, I like for you to be able to see it a little bit better. 
and then a bone folder because it's a fun fold clasp. So this will help keep them nice and creased. Obviously you're gonna need scissors. And then that's pretty much it at the very end of the class there's no stamping involved so there's no stamps no colors no inks on a couple of them i have um kind of jujued them up as i've gone along so if you just have sentiments that will fit at that point you can go through and put any sentiments back on the cards or you know add a wink of stella or add a little bit of on uh, a couple i've added some stamp and write marker or some blends totally optional it's just a way to show you how to add a little step up at the end if you want to but you don't have to because i have um the things so your packet will come like this i'll show you how you're going to get yours and then tell you not to do anything to it so yours is going to come all packaged like this and you can see here's the birthday thing everything is in the order that you see it so i'm going to have you take it and untape it very gently and i would keep it taped like this because that way you'll be able to slide stuff out. So everything you need for your birthday project's right here on top. Then you're, you can see this craft colored paper right here. It's kind of cut funny because it's a cut how you already need it. That's your shop card. So if you just leave it nice and tight like this, you'll just be able to pull your card out and everything you need is on top. And I wish you could talk to some of the girls who have um, taken all the stuff out and spread it out to look at it. Because then, like I said, you have to put it all back together. Then you have... Um, your ribbon and, and your embellishments. You have a little sweet treat in here. Um, this is actually somebody's packet. So with, when you take this packet, you can see we have all, not every color of the new ribbons. You have two of these. Um, we have some of the new twine, we, but all of the new ribbon is in here in one way, shape or form. You might not have every color of it, but then you have all of your embellishments. I find when I do this and I use the same as you, except for the four things I've already filmed, I just used what was laying on my table, but now I have a packet. We just didn't have packets when I started filming. I just take, well, they all have stuff in them right now. Let me empty my little tray. I take one of these, which is now dirty. You can see it's got an embellishment before. And I take my ribbon and you'll wanna carefully make sure that no embellishments are stuck to it because sometimes just that little plastic can wedge itself in a ribbon or in another embellishment. And I separate them out. And then you can also kind of flatten your ribbon because you don't wanna leave it in here for an extended amount of time because it can get creased just from being in there and then going through the postal service. And then you can keep those separate. You can keep the embellishments back in the little bag or put the ribbon back in the bag. Um, or if you have an old one of the plastic things that our embellishments come in, that's a perfect way to keep them because it's kind of, they get static um, in them. But there's your packet. You can see all 12 pro projects. We're going to start with the birthday and we're going to end with the daisy. So you can see them in between there. Now I'll show you mine. That way you can see what's in here and I know what goes with what. So it won't. It will take me a minute to put it back together, but not nearly as long as you. So if you're making your own packet because you've got the video PDF, well, then you'll just have to order everything. I didn't get, we didn't do the, the giant pack of paper because there was just no way I could make it work for this class. So let's start. We have, and you can see some of the little stuff we'll have found its way to other projects, but you can figure those out as you go. Just move them aside. We have the birthday um, project and we have the fun little fringe and you'll have your um, acetate, which is part of that. So you can see everything that's part of your birthday project. And then we have the shops which this project reminds me of going to um, Epcot and going to the French Pavilion. And you can tell that the little bench went back over here with this, as did the little pot. So there's the shops. And then we have the really funny um, zoo. So here's the zany zoo. And obviously this slipped out of that. And then we have the countryside. And then we have the Earthen Elegance, which is super fun. This is already my favorite of the um, sweets in there. I love the dye. Then we have some more of the zoo. You know, those zany little zoo people, they just kind of sneak around on you. It's hard to put all these little pieces. One day when I grew up, I would like to have one of those shrink wrap machines, although I'm not quite sure how large they are. 
and how expensive they are. It's just, you know, a dream. And then we have um, the fish, and I have the last packet, so sometimes there might be one or two things missing, and it went in my packet. <laughs> and then we have the fun space card. And then we have this one, all of, oh, there it is. I thought I took them out because they were also slipping. This is the inked botanicals. And then we have the mass masterpiece. You would think at this point I would remember what they are called, but this paper is super fun. Both sides of it are just gonna be a lot of fun to work with. And then we have, this is the, oh, there's shimmer and luster. I think this is the shimmer paper. There's luster paper and shimmer paper. This is the luster, that's the shimmer. So we have that, and then we have the fun new treat bags. And then if you missed it, you can go online and see this. And look, more zany zoo. It's funny that it's the zany zoo that's kind of escaped and went everywhere. And I have not made this project. It's not one that's been filmed. Um, but you can go online. This project is already on there. I have, I did tweak it a little bit, so I refilmed it um, to go with the way. And then when you're done, you will have 12 fun cards. So here's, they're, they're all done here. Um, I just, and then I have four of them done. I'm going to, today I have a doctor's appointment and a hair appointment, and I have to do some returns and maybe fit a little bit of shopping in between. Well, and some returns. So, you know, when you return, you must shop. Um, I'm going to try to get one or two filmed in between, because of course I couldn't get my appointments close enough together that I could justify staying out the whole day. Um, but this time, unlike times in the past, you will probably get your tracking a day or two before the PDF is ready. Just, it's the nature of the beast so we can get these in the mail to you before we are on the plane on early Friday morning. Um, because I, especially, I want to generate the labels. There were so many of you this time, so many that have changed your addresses. And I have tried as we have gone along to go in and up your update your addresses. But I wanna give it um, 24 hours to make sure that you have a, a look at your tracking to make sure that I caught your email that said, can you please, I, there was probably 15 of you that said it and I tried as I went, but I have a bad habit when I'm out and I get it, I check my email sometimes and then it shows as red. And you know, if you're standing in the checkout line at the grocery and you check your email and then it's your turn, sometimes I don't mark it as unread. And then I tell myself, I gotta do that when I get home. And sometimes you just forget. So if um, you can all check your tracking and I will send you an email that asks you to do that too, especially if you let me know that you had a change of address. And you know, you snowbirds, it's the time of year where you're all moving around. <laughs> so I have some of you coming home, some of you going back, and I just wanna make sure, especially since we'll be gone, that this is going to the right place. Everybody have a great day. If you're on my email list then I and I have extra packets, then I will let you know on, um, maybe in the email that I have this video link in. Everybody have a great day and I'm gonna go off to the doctors, bye.